All right guys, welcome back to the vlog. So this is part two of the RSR coilover installation series. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to walk you guys through how to adjust the, uh, the actual coilover itself and adjust the ride height. We finally got it all in. It's actually looking really sweet. Uh, let me just set you guys up over here. All right guys, so before we start playing around with the spring raid and the uh, ride height, make sure you reference the instruction manual that they give you. Uh, just make sure they want a certain tolerance or within specs of the measurements. So make sure you guys reference that. And because the last thing you want to do is get a, install a pretty sick coilover system that operates or performs shittier than stock. Because you can easily do that by just not setting it up within tolerance of what they recommend. So that's what I, I would do is just just read over it, make sure. Well, I know a lot of guys, a lot of us don't read instructions, but you could really screw this really up and it just, your ride quality be just really shitty. It looks, looks nice, but ride like shit. So just make sure you check it. And if you guys are buying the system secondhand or pre-owned, I will uh, put a link in the description below to this instruction manual for you guys just to reference. And uh, so you guys have an enjoyable ride because RSR has a pretty sick system. So I want to try to explain it as, as clear as I can. Hopefully it's, it comes out pretty clear. But um, on your conventional coilover system, there's two uh, locking collars. Uh, one on top, one on the bottom here. And then you got another one on the bottom here to adjust the whole body. But to set the preload, you would add, you know, the two keys, two spanner keys, one to unlock, you two to unlock it, and then one to spin it. What RSR did was they got rid of the actual second spanner key and then the second collar here. So instead of a second collar, they gave you an Allen key to lock and unlock the locking collar here. So use the Allen key that they supply you, unlock it, and then this allows you to spin it to your desired spring rate or, sp or your preload that you want. Then once that is set, you use the same Allen key again and lock it. Uh, the recommended uh, torque is 1.5 newton meters, which is not a whole lot, just like a hand type. Once that is set, you're going to use the spanner key, unlock the locking collar on the bottom. Now you adjust the height, your right height to your desired, whatever you need for your setup. And then, because this is already locked up, you can use the spanner key and rotate, and the whole body should rotate up and down to whatever desire height you want. Once that's done, you're gonna tighten it. And then instead of take, RSR took all the guessing game out of it. So what they did, I was wondering why there's a hole here. So you put your torque wrench in there and then set it to their spec is one point, uh, sorry, 123 Newton meters. Put it in with the, with the uh, torque wrench and, and set and then torque it down and it'll, once it's set, there's no guessing. It just, it's just simple. They made it really simple. You're not just guessing at using two keys and tightening it down. It does work, but this is so much better. All right, so moving on to the rear, again, RSR incorporated the Allen key locking system and the spanner key adjustment. So use your Allen key that they, adjust, they supplied you, unlock it, and then use the spanner key to adjust to the desired ride height. Um, pretty simple, I think it's a lot easier than the other ones. It just cause, let's say if you didn't have the wheel off and room is pretty tight and limited, right? So having two spanner keys in there to unlock and lock and to adjust can be, can be pretty uh, hard, hard, hard to do. So this is uh, so much easier, just unlock it and adjust. All right, so that's just the rear. Uh, so this is a divorce system. So it's a separate uh, spring and the shock body itself. So moving on to the shock body. Looking right there. Uh, they didn't use the Allen key to unlock or lock it. Uh, they just used a spanner key here to unlock and then rotate the body to the, your desired ride height and then just use it, the spanner key and lock it back up. Pretty simple. So once you set the ride height to your, what you desire and what you like, uh, you wanna start adjusting your dampening 
and uh, the dampening is set right here on the RSRs. So obviously H is for hard, S is for soft. So your initial, I guess, just to feel everything out, just make sure uh, if it's not too hard, not too soft. You wanna just go in the middle of the range. So you wanna click all the way to hard and then click back all the way to soft and count down how many clicks and then divide that in half and leave that in the middle. And then take it for a ride and see if you like it and then start adjusting it accordingly to your likings from there. That's probably, the, it's like a rule of thumb. That's probably the easiest way to do it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So once you completed the rear dampening, you wanna do the exact same thing to the front. Just rotate it all the way to the hard and then count back all the way to soft and then divide that number by two. And then you got the mid range and then just play with it, ride, drive it for a bit, see if you like it. If not, then adjust it accordingly. All right, so just to answer some of you guys' questions, the RSR coilover system, uh, their active dampening system is not a delete kit. It's actually, it works as the OEM ADS system. Um, it took me a while to get some information or get some answers to my questions or your guys' question. Uh, so let me just read um, what information I got or to my understanding, okay, you guys? So RSR uses their own proprietary electronic motorized valve on the RSR active coilovers for the FK8 and the FL5. So it does, it's not a delete kit. Again, it's not a delete kit, guys. It actually works. Uh, continuing on, it is made to function similar to the OEM electronic motorized valve and is made to utilize the OEM ADS technology, meaning the RSR active coilovers will automatically adjust the dampening for, uh, force depending on which drive mode uh, you are using. So uh, either comfort, sport, or R mode, right? So furthermore, you also have the capability to adjust and fine tune the dampening force even further with RSR 36 way dampening adjust adjustments for both the front and rear on the FK8 and the FL5. Changing the range of dampening force in accordance to the factory ADS system. So to my understanding, it retains the ADS system, so your R mode, sport, and comfort. So with, the, with that said, you can just change it on the fly. And then with the, the clickers on the top, the dampening adjusters by clicking, in my opinion, I think, so you have a range in between, let's say R is just too hard, and then sport is a little on the soft side. And so you have that gap to fill with the dampening clicks is what I think the system works like, which is pretty genius, right? Because on the other dampeners, you just click, 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 but you can't do it on the fly. Let's say you're kind of lazy today or you're driving down a road that's a little more bumpy and you just click on the sport mode and then it goes a little more comfort, right? But let's say that little comfort was a little on the soft side on the track. You just click a little more harder, harder, harder to your desired setting. I think that's how the system works because there's a lot of, there's no information online and it's very vague. I'm trying to get the most adequate or accurate answer for you guys. And I think that's how it is. And it's a pretty, in theory, it's a pretty neat system, right? Because a lot of us are, let's, let's not kid. Let's not joke around you guys, or let's not kid around. A lot of us are lazy, especially on a long day or on a track, and you just wanna drive home, just hit that sport mode or comfort mode and drive home in comfort. And uh, RSR gives you that option. Um, yeah, I, hopefully that answers you guys' question. It's just straight from the horse's mouth, uh, but don't quote me on it. I don't wanna give you guys any wrong information, but I think that's how the system works. But a lot of you guys are asking me, does it actually work? So I want to answer again, yes. It's not a delete kit like other coilover systems. It actually retains the active dampening system, the OEM stuff. So hopefully that answers every question. Yeah.
hit the subscribe button, you guys, if you find this uh, useful. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.